Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and today we're going to be doing something pretty interesting. Um, back onto the course of battles and stuff in this game, I was thinking to myself, could you actually weaponize a black hole? And we're going to see what we can do about that. Because before we have had a video on miniature black holes ripping the world apart from up close, uh, but could you actually make these accurate enough to just destroy, like, a certain part of Earth instead of the entire thing? And that is a great question, which is, uh, we're gonna just dive right into. So here's Earth. Uh, we're going to go into a new simulation, actually, because this one's going to be annoying. Uh, Earth. Plop down Earth. And let's just see the results of having a black hole. We're going to do something a little bit small. Uh, a hundred, one mass of the sun black hole. We'll just have it orbit Earth, and we're going to see that it pretty instantly ate Earth. Now what we can do is to uh, reduce the absolute annihilation instantly. Uh, we can go grab that same black hole. We can reduce its mass to something that still does a ton of gravitational damage, but not, not quite as much. Like, here we have two Earth's size. So we can see from here that it's already having slight effects on the planet. And if we speed things up, what's going to happen? I think the Rosh Limit, yes, is going to begin ripping Earth apart. So obviously, that is not a, uh, that is not a weaponizable, uh, black hole there. Because the amount of mass and, uh, gravitational pull it has is just far too high. But, what if we had a little black holes that we shoot so that they just get close enough to the world to rip a little bit out of a certain country or part of the planet. So I'm thinking, shoot a black hole, have it come in, make its Rosh horizon or event horizon very small so that it only hits the part when it's closest, so about here, it would actually start ripping away and then it would just go by Earth. And it would be like nothing happened, except one country would have a giant chunk of itself missing. Um, obviously any way to do this would be practically impossible. Creating black hole is, uh, not possible, I'll just say. You know, we're not going to overcomplicate things, we're just gonna say for now, not possible. And, um, not only is that not possible, but even after you created it, where the heck would you, where, where would you put it? How do you shoot it out of something without that thing being destroyed instantly? Uh, but going back here, we're going to give this the mass of, let's try half of the Earth. So, if we give this black hole the mass of half of the Earth, and we go into its motion, we make it go very, very fast, so we're going to say 50 kilometers per second, we're going to go into edit mode, we're going to change its direction so that it skims by Earth. And we want it to just go very close without hitting. Yep. So that's going to get very close without actually hitting Earth. And we're going to see if at its closest... Oh! Shoot. So it appears we did actually hit there. I didn't mean to hit space, but that's not what we wanted to do. Now Earth is actually much too large. So let's try this again. This may take a few tries, but if done correctly, uh, well, success. I, I guess it doesn't have much practical use, but we can say, well, we did it. So here we go. Here's the black hole. Just change its mass a little bit to half an Earth. It appears that the rush limit actually did kick in there because of the very close proximity we had, so that's good. That means we're having a little bit of success. We're going to turn this to go close, but not touch. Maybe that's close enough. Uh, we're going to try it. Put this down into pretty much real time. We'll speed it up if it's too slow. And let's see what happens. So here we are. Our black hole is moving very quickly. Not fast enough though, so let's speed things up. We're getting closer and closer to the Earth. Hopefully at its closest point, it'll rip a little bit out of Earth and then go on its way, leaving a ton of destruction only in one point. 
because one part of having a weapon is that it needs to be able to be targeted so that you don't end up hitting yourself. So here is where we wanted to start doing something. Is it close enough? Oh, it actually did do something at its, uh, not its closest point, but pretty close to where we were actually targeting for. It ripped a little piece out, and now that piece is going to go up, and it's going to fall back down. But where is it? We also ripped a lot of atmosphere out. So, we've done a lot of damage. Uh, so, currently our accuracy is down to pretty much one one side of the earth. Uh, that's pretty much our accuracy rating. Although, we were aiming for right here and we got two huge craters around it. So, it isn't that bad. However, we did heat up the entire planet to 700 degrees. Um, yeah. So, that... That is a slight problem, considering we're not trying to destroy the entire world. Uh, I feel like that heat is caused by the giant pieces of land ripped out. But we can try to modify this to be a little bit less completely deadly, and uh, let's do that. We're going to try a quarter of the mass of the Earth closer. Technically, it'll have similar force, but it won't rip out as much uh, land which would cause any craters to be smaller and release less heat. So if we go here, uh, we're going to go about there, because why not? And then we're just going to go to Earth. We're going to go to 0. Point... Actually, let's try it. Uh, yeah, 2.5. We'll go 2.6. Who cares? At that point, it's very... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to because someone will complain in the comments. Okay, so there we go. Now we're just going to speed it up. We're also going to make sure it goes faster than before. Because having it go faster means that it's more accurate. It doesn't go near the Earth as long, so it has less time to do damage we don't want done. That's hitting the Earth. That's just scraping across the atmosphere, which is pretty much what we want. Maybe a little bit closer. And there we go. That looks like it's going to do it. <clears throat> will it work? No clue. Hopefully it will. And here we go. The black hole is actually on track. Okay, we are getting very, very close to Earth. Now, hopefully we just go through the atmosphere and nothing else happens. Okay, now we're our closest point almost oh geez I really did cut this orbit close we're getting right next to the earth it looks like we're actually going to crash into it but I'm going to pray that I'm good at aiming and uh, this isn't going to hit oh this is really close but it looks like I actually did this perfectly it's grazing across the sky but not actually hitting the surface. And there it goes. Past the Earth. Has it done any damage? Let's check the Earth. So the temperature has risen. A lot. <laughs> Just from the rush limit kicking in. And honestly, other than that, it looks like we haven't had much of an effect. We have ripped the atmosphere off of this side of the world. Um, I guess that's one way to kill your enemy. Just get rid of all the air. Uh, but that's going to affect the entire world. So once again, not plausible. Um, and yeah, things hit 200 degrees. So we're going to give this one more go. And we're going to kind of do this a YOLO style here. Um, this is definitely going to destroy the world. There's no doubt about it. But when it comes to destroying one part of the world, this would be the most accurate. Not the sun, jeez. Uh, so the black hole with the one sun, we're actually going to keep it like that, um, if we can find it. We're going to go to it, we're going to go to its motion, we're going to make it go very, very fast. 500, heck, 1000 kilometers per second. And we're going to have it get really close. Now, the goal here is for it to be so little time that it's next to the earth, that it doesn't actually absolutely annihilate it. 
It also doesn't have to be that close to Earth. Uh, will that work? Or is that hitting? That looks fine. Okay, so slow things down. I think we're fine at like one second per second. Yeah. So this is actually in real time. No, we are not going in the right... Oh, shoot. I did not factor for that. I did not factor for the Earth being pulled towards the black hole. <laughs> I was thinking of it the other way around. Yep, so this black hole is actually annihilating the planet, ripping it completely apart in all directions. Um, and Earth is actually being pulled towards the black hole so it looks like this is not going to be a happy ending for the earth um well at a thousand kilometers per second and at the mass of the sun this is quite the bullet this is going to be interesting Ooh, i i think the entire earth was just sucked in and it just made a slightly larger black hole and it looks like that's exactly what happened well, guys, I think we've answered that question. Can black holes be weaponized? Yes. Do you want to weaponize them? No. Uh, you have no way of knowing who you are going to hit, and basically, no matter what, you're going to hit yourself as well. So unless you're a very, very, very suicidal country, uh, yeah, it's not a good idea. Also, anything you use to create the black hole would instantly be destroyed, and there would be no way to actually shoot it because whatever made it is destroyed. Uh, so it just seems like a total waste of time and effort to begin with. Although I guess if you just made it on Earth and then just waited uh, for... I've done this before, but just for uh, reference, if you create a black hole like that on Earth, if we position lock Earth, this isn't what would actually happen because we're kind of breaking physics here. But if we position lock Earth here and we put a black hole on its surface and position lock that as well... So here's our black hole. Not quite on its surface, but close enough that it won't consider it colliding. Once it collides, it just eats Earth instantly. So here, if we do this, slow down time, let's watch the result. It is actually pretty uh, exciting. So you can see all of Earth's mass actually being ripped straight into here, and it's just shooting it out. It's like a gun, honestly. It's just shooting all of the mass out of the Earth as quickly as possible. <laughs> Creating a cone. A cone of destruction. And Earth just continually gets all the mass ripped out of it. And... Wow, that, that happened. And that's what happens. Yeah, that's... That's my uh, little Easter egg at the end of the video to show you guys what would have happened there. I've done it before. I had a full video on it if you want to go find it. I did some other stuff with that. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, is it really an episode? Video. And I will see you all next time. And kids, I hope you learned never weaponize a black hole. It's just not a good idea.